Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the electron volt. The reason I'm talking about the electron volt is because it's a unit that is used a lot in describing energy levels. And the reason being, it's far easier to be able to read 5.2 than having all the uh, sort of powers at the end of it. So to explain what an electron volt is, I need to actually go to the equation for potential. Now this equation for potential is for electric fields, and that is a second year topic, and also using electricity. But you may have seen it at GCSE, that potential is energy divided by charge. So electric potential, because this is an electric field, so we're talking about charge here, is the energy divided by the charge. And this helps us being able to go between, this formula here will help us go between um, electron volts and joules. Okay, so I'm going to bring out a question that I did in my last video about photons. And I'm going to use this here. So I knew that the energy <coughs> for a red was 2.84 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And my energy for the blue was 4.97 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. This is an okay number, but we want to simplify it a bit. So I'm going to convert it into an electron volt. I want to know what the potential would have to be for an electron to carry that amount of energy. So, what you do is you use this formula, energy divided by charge, so 2.84 times 10 to the minus 19, divided by the charge of an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So 2.84 times 10 to the minus 19, divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, and I get a nice answer of 1.775 electron volts. The reason I write this idea that it's an electron volt is so that I know that I'm assuming that it's the energy that an electron would carry. So that one was for the red. Now I'm going to do it for the blue. So that's 4.97 times 10 to the minus 19 over 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So 4.97 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 is 3.11 electron volts. This is a much easier way of demonstrating how to put uh, writing energy, not this 10 to the minus 19. The reason you put the E is to remind it it's electron volt. It's the amount of potential that I would need for an electron to carry this much energy. It is important you know how to go in between. So to go from joules to electron volts, I need to divide by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. To go from electron volts to joules, I need to times by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Please remember that your joules should be smaller than your electron volts. If you end up with a photon that has the energy of 1.6 times 10 to the positive 19, so, or, I can't think of what that is, but 1.6 times 10 to the 19 joules, uh, that's wrong, very wrong. The energy on a photon should be small, okay? So it should be to the power of a minus. So if you start getting big numbers, double check your equation. So that is how we use electron volts.